In our session today, we want to talk about certificate revocation lists and distribution points. Now, certificates rely on certificate authorities to maintain an updated list of any certificates that have been revoked. Certificates can be revoked for a number of reasons. The certificate might have been compromised in some way, or the date might have been changed on the certificate that was issued by the certificate authority, making certificates that were issued invalid. And it is essential that when a computer is presented with a revoked certificate, that it does not honor that certificate. Now, the common means, a common means of informing computers of revoked certificates is by using what we call a certificate revocation list. And this list has all of the certificates that have been revoked. And uh, what we need to be able to do is to make sure that that certificate revocation list gets to all computers. So what we are looking at in this session is how we would set up and publish a certificate revocation list to ensure that all computers receive an up-to-date certificate revocation list. There are two types of certificate revocation list. The first type is called a full CRL. And this type contains all certificates revoked by the public key infrastructure, your certificate authority. The second type is known as a Delta CRL. And this type of list contains all revoked certificates since the last time a full CRL was created. Now, if a computer has received a full CRL, it requests a Delta CRL unless a new full CRL is available. This function of collecting certificate serial numbers, populating a list with the serial numbers, creating the CRL, and then posting that CRL to a CRL distribution point is an essential security component. If a revoked certificate is not identified as compromised or invalid, what happens is it creates a significant number of security risk, including interception of encrypted data and also impersonating another computer or a user. What is a certificate distribution point? It is simply a path represented as one or many attributes on every certificate. So every certificate has a path that represents where this certificate revocation list can be accessed. We're going to be configuring that certificate revocation list distribution point. And on the server manager dashboard, we want to click on tools. Certificate Authority, and we want to right click on the certificate server and select Properties. On the property box, we want to click on the Extension tab. Once we're on that Extension tab, we want to click on Add. And in the location box, 
we're going to actually type a path. So we're going to type HTTP. Let's try that again. HTTP colon two slashes CRL. dot and your domain name and we're going to type our domain name dc dot contoso dot com slash CRLD certificate revocation list distribution you'll give a put a slash after that now here in the variable name box we want to click the down arrow and we want to select CA name and click on insert and you will see the CA name join to the path. Then we want to select CRL name suffix. Click on insert again to join that to the path. Want to click on insert a third time. And we want to select Delta CRL allowed and click on insert. In the location box, after the path, at the end of the path, we want to click and type dot CRL. Then click on OK. Next, we want to make a selection here at the bottom of our property box. We want to select include in CRLs. So we're going to check that box off. Clients use this to find Delta CRL locations. And we also want to select include in the CDP extension of issued certificate. So we're going to check that box off. And then we want to click apply. The dialog box that comes up here, we want to select no. We don't want to restart right now because we have to configure the file share definition. So we want to go ahead and click on add. And in the location box, we want to define the file server and share name. So we're going to be using DC as our file server. So we're typing the server path slash slash DC slash. And we're typing now the share name path. And our share name path is CRL DIST Certificate Revocation List Distribution. And we want to type a dollar sign because we don't want that share to be seen. And we type a slash. Now we have to come back in the variable name box and select the CA. Then click on insert. We also want to select the CRL name suffix. So let's click the down arrow and select CRL name suffix. And click on insert again. 
And then we, thirdly, we want to select the Delta CRL allowed. And we click on insert. In the location box again, we want to put our cursor in the location box and we want to type dot CRL. So we want to click on the dot and type C R L. Then click on OK. We need to publish that CRL. So we're going to click on Publish CRL to this location. And this is going to publish CRLs to the location. And we also want to click on Publish Deltas. CRLs to the location, then we want to click on apply. In the dialog box, we want to say yes. And we're not going to close our certificate authority. To recap, in our session today, we looked at configuring the certificate revocation list distribution point. And we also looked at publishing that revocation list as well as the CRL deltas. This is the end of our session, and I want to thank you for listening.